Hello Shellheads, welcome to another What The Shell review for the LEGO Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set, the Shell Razor Street Chase. This is one of the two largest sets in this LEGO line, retailing at about £60 or $60 if you're in America. On the front of the box you get this awesome scene of the Shell Razor chasing Dog Pound's pizza van. And on the back you get the usual demonstration of the LEGO action features and also a little mini comic strip related to the set. I think I said it last time, but I really do love these comic strips LEGO has been adding to these, as well as the ones that they add to their superhero lines. I really like the little details and the style that they've been done and I'd happily buy a book filled with these. Okay, let's build Dog Pound's Pizza Van. There are three villain minifigures in this set. The Krang droid looks really cool with the little Krang decal on his belly, its creepy skull-like face and the additional jetpack on his back. These guys have recently been seen in the Nick cartoon terrorising the turtles. The jetpack itself rotates and pivots and it looks really cool but I found it popped off quite easily as well. He also gets a massive ray gun. The foot soldier is unique to this set as he has a different costume to the others with red trousers and a more gi style of rope. I still like the reflective silver decals that the foot soldiers have, it really makes them pop. He also comes with a gold samurai sword. Dog Pound is a wide beast of a minifigure. I'm a really big fan of Nickelodeon's new mutants that they've come up with for the show and I like how LEGO has translated him into minifigure form. He has the standard leg pieces but has a unique upper body with an evil expression and a spiky oversized left arm. He even has his tail, which is part of his torso piece. Comparing Dog Pound's minifigure to a regular Turtles minifigure, you can see that they're actually the same height, but it's his broadness which makes him quite imposing. The villains apparently drive a pizza van. I'm not sure if times have got really hard for the foot count that they've had to sell pizza, or if Dog Pound fancied a career change. But it fits and yet still feels odd at the same time. Pizza is a staple part of the TMNT lore, but the, va the van doesn't actually transform or have any mounted guns or anything like that, so I can only assume that Dog Pound's GTA did, or, going by the TCRI number plate, it belongs to the Krang. It does, however, carry the mutagen around, and it has just enough room to fit them and Dog Pound in too. The back doors do open and it allows you to stick the foot soldier in there just in case you want to chuck some mutagen at turtles or random elderly people. My favourite part of the van is the pizza banner on the top. I love them, Italian minifig chef, and the design of it is total. As a mini vehicle, the pizza van is kind of cool, but as a villain vehicle I would have much preferred a cool action feature than opening doors. Having said that, I think all the love went into the Shoal Razor vehicle itself, so let's build that! With the Shell Razor you get an angry faced Leonardo with two of his trademark katana blades and the standard slot on Shell. Mikey has a more of a cheeky grin and is the second version in the LEGO line. I actually prefer the happy go lucky Mikey of the Krang Lab Escape set but it's really cool that LEGO decided to offer a different face for each of the four turtles so that we didn't end up having duplicates of the same one. The Shell Razor itself is massive. It's actually one of the biggest vehicles in the LEGO Turtles line. On each side of the Shell Razor you have these flip doors, each with a graffiti style sticker on them. Flipping down the right side door you get a weapons rack, 
which has everything a turtle needs to fight the foot. Meanwhile, if you flip down the left-handed side, you get a skateboard and computer panel. The computer panel itself actually just fold over and flip so that whoever, like Donatella for example, could be playing around with it while Mikey can go on his skateboard. The skateboard itself is pretty simple and it does move so you can wheel it about all you please and stick a little minifigure on top like Mikey here. Apart from the flip style doors on either side, there isn't actually any other door on the vehicle itself, which I find very odd. I think it would have been cool to, to be able to open up a door to see a turtle behind the wheel, for example. However, you do get a really cool feature underneath the show racer. This is actually an extra set of four wheels because in the new cartoon, the show racer itself is built from an old subway carriage, which means you can flip the larger wheels and push these smaller wheels on any Lego railway track that you may have. As you can see, there's actually enough room inside the shell razor to fit all four turtles and then some. The stick sheet also comes with these really cool little dials and pulleys and things that you can just stick onto the, onto the consoles as well. The massive action feature of the shell razor has to be the gun turret itself. This thing is huge and rotates 360 degrees, not to mention it fires a huge missile from the top. Don't aim it at anyone, it really does hurt. If I'm honest, I think the Shell Razor is awesome, and you can tell the designers at LEGO had a blast translating it from TV to brick form. There's tons of little details and features, and I think kids would have a lot of fun building and playing with it, not to mention us adults too. One thing people do talk about is how expensive LEGO has become. £60 or $60 is quite a lot to pay. But it is a licensed set and you do get 5 minifigures and 2 vehicles for your money. If you really love the LEGO Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this is the one set you should buy, as the Shell Razor, like the original Party Wagon, is iconic to the show. Thanks for listening Shellheads and remember, Cowabunga DUDES! <laughs>